What's up guys? Today we're gonna go over a two week jumping program. Now this is day one. I'm gonna take you guys through every day. Now I'm gonna you know, make sure I upload this right in a row so you guys can follow along with me. But if you're, if you're watching this months, years later, you know what I'm saying, you guys can do it too. Just make sure to be mindful of your body and where you're at. All right guys, so today we're gonna start it off. It's a great start. This week we're gonna see how much vertical we can gain. This is gonna be real intense, um, two weeks. We're gonna go hard. Just make sure that you bring in maximum effort when you're doing this and make sure you stay hydrated as well. So let's get right to it. So first we're gonna start off with 100 jump ropes or if you don't have a jump rope, that's okay. You can just simulate the jump rope like, you're, like you um, are doing it. Just moving your feet up and down like that 100 times. Now even more than just building that you know, warm up, it's great for getting that Achilles strength in as well. So let's get to it. All right guys, so next we're going to the 180 jumps. Now when you're resting, I want you to rest at least 60 to 90 seconds uh, before each exercise so you can get that maximum output when you go. And the next exercise is the 180 jumps. So we're gonna do 10 180 jumps. Basically, you're gonna squat down and turn around. So you're gonna do that 10 times. And remember two sets, really give it your all, really focus on exploding up and, and turning around with force, you know what I'm saying? And make sure that we give every rep our maximum output. A lot of times, you know, once you get to like the rep eight, rep nine, you're like, fuck, you just wanna get it done with. But no, we're gonna hit it off, hit it off hard. Make sure to really put that force into it, okay? So let's get to it. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so now we're going to backboard touches. Now, you don't need a goal to do this. Um, you guys can do this against any sort of brick wall. And just jump as high as you can the first time. And remember where you touch and make sure that you get right there or higher every other time you do it. Now, this is gonna be six times. If you have a basketball goal, that's great. Now, this is great for dunking. This is great for really getting that explosive movement with no follow-up with no penultimate step or anything like that. You're just getting right there, exploding up, right? And just make sure you're hitting that same spot every time you do it. Make sure you're holding yourself accountable six times so it's not too many reps, so it's not that much. But this is great for really reaching higher and having a set mark in your head where to touch, getting that objective right. And you know, that's a big part of it. That's a big part of it that makes it a great exercise. So let's get to it.
All right, guys, the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And, you know, come back tomorrow. You know, I'm uploading these videos back to back to back so you guys can really follow along and really, you know, feel that soreness and push through the grind with me, you know, as I'm recording these videos. And then, you know, after we finish this two weeks, rest and then check your vertical again, man. You're going to see the world of difference, I promise you. But that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all next time. What's up, guys? Today is day two, and it's got pretty cold. Like, it probably dropped like 20 degrees since yesterday. So we're going to start off with 100 jumping jacks, really just get the blood flowing, really get the movement going, and getting ready to put in this work, because today is going to be pretty hard. So let's get it. All right, guys, so next we're gonna go into the deep squats. So we're gonna do 10 deep squats, really go deep with it, really feel how low can go, really control the movement and just wake up those, you know, those leg muscles, activate those quads and really just preparing your body to, you know, get to jumping. So let's get to it. So make sure you get as low as you can. Really feel that hip flexion. All right, guys, now that's the warm-up part. Now next we're going to jumping lunges. So basically we're gonna do eight lunges each leg. The form is gonna be like this. So you're gonna start off lunge position. Just like that, okay? So I want you guys to rest 60 to 90 seconds after you're doing your warm-up. Then we're gonna get to it. Uh, three sets of everything. Really, you know, get ready, put in this work and make sure, I'm telling you, every jump, reach as high as you can every single time. All right, guys, next we're doing one leg ski jumps. So basically, you're gonna have, if you guys have cones, set those up, but it's okay, it's not that necessary. You're gonna get right here, this leg right here, and then jump like that, but you're gonna actually explode and really control the movement. We're gonna do eight of those, we're working on that one foot explosiveness and being able to control our landings with one foot, okay? All right, guys, so next we're going into tuck jumps. We're gonna do two sets of 10, I mean three sets of 10. Basically, you jump up, make sure your knees get as high as you can on your body. Here's a demonstration. And we're gonna do that 10 times. So rest 60 to 90 seconds in between, you know what I'm saying? And just really, really try to explode every time. Even when you're feeling tired, even when you're feeling fatigued, try to explode because if you're an athlete, 
and you're playing a game and you're trying to dunk in game, then you're gonna be tired in game. Your muscles are gonna fatigue and you have gotta be able to carry that explosiveness throughout the whole game that you're playing. So let's get to it. <laughs> All right, guys, now we're getting close to the end. Now this is gonna be a lot hard. This is gonna be really hard for a lot of people, even if you're athletic, even if you're well-trained, you know, you're gonna have to scale up to this, but that's okay. We're gonna do the uh, assisted pistol squat jump. So basically I want you to grab something, really stick one leg out, squat down with the other leg, and try to explode up. Now for me, I can do a pistol squat freestanding, but you won't explode up as, as strong as you can if you don't do it assisted. So no matter what your level is, I want you to do assisted. We're gonna do eight each leg and really explode up. Like I'm telling you guys, this specific, ex this specific exercise was such a game changer for me. This helps my one leg jumping. This also helps my stability as well. And really just, you know, building this up to being able to do a freestanding, a freestanding pistol squat is such a great benefit. I think every athlete should do that, honestly. But we're gonna hit these assisted explosives. And remember guys, all the strength in one leg, explode up as high as you can. Now it's gonna be hard at first and you might have to grab whatever you're using as assist. Like I'm using this basketball goal, but you can use a wall. Whatever you have around your house, anything, just grab it as hard as you need to and really focus on, you know, getting all that power out that leg, exploding straight up. All right, so let's get it. All right guys, so after depleting all those for three sets, I want you to get some sort of water bottle or something like that, and we're gonna do hip separations. This is gonna strengthen your hip flexor and also help your flexibility. So I'm gonna basically put a smaller video of me doing the hip separations and really showing you how you should raise your leg up, bring it over, put it down, and do that. Now, I do that for about 30 seconds each leg. I do that for three sets, and this is very great for really you know, hitting an underrated muscle. People sleep on their hip flexors and I feel like for an athlete or anyone who wants to be explosive, you have to think about your hip flexors, your mobility, your strength, and your flexibility, All right? Especially mobility, because mobility is your range that you can function on while you're going at your highest speeds. So, you know, you, it, it doesn't matter as much if you're doing like a splits or anything, but you're gonna have to be able to at least, you know, Make sure you have good flexion on those hips, really on those, on those um, ankles too. Make sure you're having good flexion. That's what our toe raises do, do. But people sleep on the hip flexor separations. So, and really, after you finish this, after you finish training this uh, two week process, I want you guys to do research on how to exercise and strengthen your hip flexors. I'll make some videos about that because it's so underrated, man. And hip flexors are pivotal pivotal and really becoming a next level athlete. All right guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back for day three. It'll be a little bit easier tomorrow, day three and four coming up. It'll be a lot easier. And really stay hydrated while you're doing this. Make sure you're getting your protein in and make sure you're getting your eight hours of sleep. I can't stress that enough. Get your sleep. Most people don't get enough sleep and that's a big reason that's holding them back and really everything in life, your mental function, your physical, you know, everything in your life is gonna be benefited if you get your sleep. So that's the end of the video, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. What's up, guys? Today is day three, and now we're gonna do um, a little more core work. This is not really gonna be any legs. You're more resting your legs. So for day three, you know, we're just gonna hit this core. It's gonna be very simple, very light, straight to the point. So we're gonna start off with crunches, and we're gonna cycle all these three times. So I want you to do this three times in a row, um, rest for about 30 to 60 seconds and really feel that burn really get those contractions in and destroy those abs So let's get it. All right guys. So first we're gonna start off with heel touches. Basically we're gonna get down here Get like this 
and touch the heels, and we'll do that for 30 seconds. So starting now, whenever you feel like it, this is really good for you know hitting the obliques as well. And core is a very important part of vertical. You have to think about every movement you do, your core is in the center of that. So, you know, never neglect it. All right, guys, so I definitely lost count on that. But all right, guys, so next we're going to do full body crunches. So we're going to do 25 crunches. When you're doing full body crunches, you're bringing, you're bringing up your legs to your knees, I mean, your elbows to your knees and touching them. So 25 times. And if that's too hard for you, that's okay. Just do regular crunches 25 times. A regular crunch would just be this. Now let's get it. All right, guys, so next, we're gonna rest for a little bit, and then we're gonna go into planks. So we're gonna hold planks for 30 seconds. Some not too crazy, but still good to get you going. And we're gonna repeat this for three sets. Now, I want you guys to not rest that much, 30 to 60 seconds. And for me, a lot of times, I just like to go straight through because you have to realize that that core endurance is just as important as you know doing the exercises. Like, training your core is so important, and a lot of people don't do it. You know, you don't have to have a full complicated core day, but make sure that you're doing something for your core to like, it's so many benefits to training your core. It fixes your posture, things like that. So just be mindful of, you know, not just being more athletic, but the health benefits that come along with the exercises that you're doing. All right. So we're gonna do planks, 30 seconds, really just control it, really get used to it, really set it in, make sure you keep that butt down and really just feel that core. Really just feel that, you know, contraction, that squeeze. All right, guys, and there you go. So you're going to repeat that three times. Now, if you're a little more advanced, I want you to do it three times in a row, a minimal rest. But if you're not that advanced, if you're just a beginner, then, you know, go lighter, do it like I did. And, you know, be mindful because you're going to be sore. And for day four, I want you guys to rest, you know, recover, you know, enjoy that day. You know, you can do a little cardio, you can go for a walk, but don't do any like rigorous activity because this is um, time for your muscles to recover, to rest. Really get your legs back in order. And on day five, we're gonna, you know, have another video, basically another part of it. You know, it's gonna switch up a little bit. And then we're gonna be on week two. So, you know, if you guys got this far, I applaud you. You did, you did some good work. And just please stick with it and really stick to the process. And I want you guys to just notice the gains you're gonna make just from following this program. So that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow. What's up guys, today is day five and this one's gonna be more focused on speed. You know what I'm saying? So we're working on our speed when we approach the rim, when we're jumping and really just being able to carry out that speed throughout our whole jumping process. So first we're gonna start off with high knees for 30 seconds. We're gonna do three sets of this. Make sure to get those knees up to chest level and go as fast as you can. So let's get it. All right, guys, next we're gonna do wall sprints. So basically you're gonna put your hands on the, on the wall and then you're gonna be sprinting in position. Just gonna get those legs up, really pump it. We're gonna make sure we do those for 30 seconds as well. So get a 60 to 90 second rest, get some water and then we'll get to it.
All right, guys, so now we're gonna do fall sprints. Basically, you're gonna be standing in position, slowly fall, and then, and then as you decelerate, as you go down to the ground, explode out just like that. So we're gonna do that. Make sure you have a good distance. I'd say um, just a good backyard or any sort of space you can run in. You know, try to explode, get to your top speed as fast as possible, right? And we're gonna do that for eight sets. I meant three sets, six reps of, you know, really falling and remember exploding out. And, you know, this is not something that is great for your first step when you're approaching the rim. Or if you want to jump higher just off one foot, that first step gets strengthened by doing this. So let's get started. All right, guys, that's the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like if you did, and you know, come back for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be more jumping based, but this is a good change of pace to really put in between your workouts because you're really focusing on different parts of your quads, your hip flexors, really engaging, you know, different muscles that also translate to jumping high. Because jumping high isn't just how much you can explode up, it's also, you know, your first step, your penultimate step, the muscles you use in that, or if you're running, and you're exploding up while you're running, you know, you're involving more muscles doing it like that. So that's the end of the video, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.